What's going on, my math party people? Welcome to the Solving Multi-Step Equations, part one. And in this part, what we're gonna be doing is understanding how to solve equations where you have to simplify first. Now, there are other types of multi-step equations where you have variables on both sides, where you might have a parentheses, you might have to distribute, so many different types. So, this first video, we're gonna take it nice and easy here, and then look forward to the next video and in the worksheet to keep practicing. That way, we can keep moving on ahead with all the confidence in the world. So, let's get to it, my party people. Here we go. So, we have negative 9r plus 2r equals 7. So, up to this point, what we've been really looking at is, oh, what's the first step, second step, third step, and then work backwards from the order of operations. But over here, notice how we have two variables. We have negative 9r and positive 2r. But here's the thing, my party people. These are on the same side of the equal sign. So what I want you to think about is this. Is there any way that we can combine the negative 9r and 2r? The answer is yes, because they're like terms. Remember, like terms have the same variables and exponents. And if you notice, we have just r and just r. So yeah, the 9 and the negative 2 can combine to make one solid variable instead of having two separated. So when we think about that, what's negative 9 plus 2? Well, you have a negative plus a positive, so just take the difference. 9 minus 2 is 7, but you're going to keep the sign of the bigger number. So that's the 9, which is negative, so you'll make it negative 7. And again, if you forgot how to handle negative values or negative operations, then we need to make sure we go back to that part of the course here. That way, you can make sure you're solid on that. But that becomes negative 7r equals 7. And now we can solve this like a regular equation. We can simply divide both sides by the same number, and that's going to be what? dividing by negative seven. Because again, the goal is always still to get the r by itself. And so by doing that, we're gonna have ourselves negative seven divided by negative seven, which cancels out. And then we have ourselves r equals, all right, seven divided by seven is one. And then a positive divided by a negative, that's gonna be negative. And so the answer here is negative one. But we're not done here. Let's go ahead and go through a few more examples here to show you again where you have to combine like terms before you can actually solve. So over here, we have 15 equals one plus seven n plus seven n. Okay, so what I'm gonna observe here is again, here's the equal sign, and on the right side we have seven n and seven n. We can combine those first. We can combine those, and what we're gonna have here is gonna be 15 equals one, and then seven n plus seven n, they are like terms, and seven plus seven is 14. So we have plus 14n right there. Up next, what we're gonna do is solve this equation like it's a normal equation now. Because I see here that we have, the n is what we're trying to get to, it's being multiplied by 14, and then we have that one just sitting there randomly. So that's the last step, adding one. And so what I'll do is subtract the one. So let's subtract one from both sides, and that's gonna give us that cancellation. 15 minus one is gonna be 14, and that's 14n. So the last step here is to get the n by itself. We're gonna go ahead and divide both sides by that 14, and we're good to go. So here, divide both sides by 14. And that's gonna cancel out on the right side, and then 14 divided by 14 is one. So one equals n, and that's our answer, b. Now let's keep the party going here, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look, if you're frustrated about raising your score right now, if you feel like you're studying, but you're not exactly remembering what you're supposed to, or suffer from test anxiety and blank on word problems a lot, then go ahead and text me directly. Here's my number, 567-698-8867. I'm Coach Anderson. I have a full program that's gonna help you succeed. So go ahead and shoot me a text and say, hey coach, I wanna learn more about the program. And I'll go ahead and explain how all of it works. That way you can stress less about this test enlist with the job you want, and possibly get that bonus check too. And so, with that said, go ahead, shoot me a text. Let's learn more about it, and let's get you in the right position to succeed. Let's keep going. So here we go, number three. Number three, what we have going on is, we have one equals, and then on the same side of the equal sign, we have one plus five x plus five. So notice on the same side, on that right side, we have one and five. We can combine those. It's a positive one and a positive five, bring those together to make positive six. And so what we can rewrite this equation as is one equals 
5x plus 6. You can write 6 plus 5x or 5x plus 6. Either way is going to work out. Either way works out just fine. But now that we have this, now we can look at this like the equations we've been used to doing. And we can do this like clockwork. So here we go. We're going to have ourselves here. x is what we're trying to get to. We have 5x. And then we're going to be adding 6 at the end. So my first step is to get rid of the 6. Subtract 6 from both sides. So that's going to cancel out. And we're going to have 1 minus 6, which is negative 5. Again, handle your negatives if you don't know how to do that. And then over here, my last step is going to be dividing both sides by 5. All right. So once we have that, boom, cancels out. And so we're going to have ourselves x equals negative 1. And that is choice B. So again, my poor people, this is how we want to handle these. We want to combine any like terms if we see them, if we see them. So over here, number four, and what do we notice over here? Well, what I notice is that on the same side of the equal sign, we have negative 5n minus 5n. So we can combine those like terms. And remember, make sure to bring the sign with you. That is a negative 5n with a negative 5n. So it's not going to cancel. They're actually going to combine to give you negative 10n. Because if you're already negative, then subtracting, you're getting more negative. So we can rewrite this as 2 equals then negative 10n minus 8. And then from here, let's get to work. So the first thing that I'll do is try to get rid of that minus 8. Because again, it's the furthest thing away from the variable. We have the immediate attachment, then we have the minus 8. So to get rid of the minus 8, we add 8. So boom, take care of that on both sides. That's going to go ahead and cancel out, giving me 2 plus 8, which is 10, equals negative 10n. And then the last step I'll take here is divide both sides by negative 10 and call it a day. So boom, right there, n equals negative 1. And that is choice C. So let me take care of one more problem for you, my party people, and then I'm going to hand it off to you so that way you can try this out with that worksheet that's after this activity. Remember, we have a few videos here in this series before you get to the worksheet. And here it's simplifying before you solve. Then you have variables on both sides. You've got distribution needed in the, those types of problems. I'm going to show you every single type of these problems. That way you can feel confident, calm, cool, and collected every single time. So up next, let's go ahead and take a look at, you know, we can do number six or number five. Either way, I'll take care of number six. So with number six, what we have going on here is we see that on the same side of the equal sign, we have plus 4n minus 7n. Those are like terms. They have the same variable. So combine them accordingly and we'll have negative 1 and then 4 minus 7. That's a difference of 3, but it's going to be negative 3 because that 7 is bigger. So minus 3n equals negative 22. So the first thing that I noticed that I need to take care of is going to be that minus 1, that negative 1 right there. If we just have a negative 1 sitting there, we're going to get rid of it. Well, the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. So just add 1 to both sides. Because remember, a negative 1 just sitting there is like saying take away 1. To get rid of taking away 1, we add 1. So there's that. That's going to be nice and gone right there. And then from here, what we're going to do is from here, we have negative 3n equals negative 22 plus 1 would be negative 21. Remember, if you have a negative and a positive being added together, you basically take the difference and then keep the sign of the bigger number. From here, we're going to get rid of the negative 3 by dividing it. Because remember, you have a negative 3 times n. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 3 is dividing it out. And so with that said, cancels out right there, my party people. And our final answer will be n equals. We have a negative divided by a negative, so that's a positive. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And that's choice D. And so there it is, my party people. I've gone over five problems here. And at the end of the day, remember, we want to keep making progress. So coming up next, what you're going to notice in the next video is we are going to be going over problems where we have variables on both sides. So get ready to look over that, my party people. Again, if you're in the course or the program, you're going to see that you're going to have all of these videos lined up for you with the worksheet 
with the speed drills. That way you can practice your speed and confidence. So I fully expect you to get that done, my party people. That way we can raise that score and get that job. So I'll see you there in the next video, my party people. Let's get cracking.